Welcome back to this series of video. Today's video is about the conditions of equilibrium in 2D configurations. Today I will be talking about the conditions of equilibrium, like I said, in 2D configurations. And I will give example of calculations after. The condition of equilibrium in 2D and it is also valid in 3D, but today is only about 2D. Is the following sigma of the forces equals zero. The forces are, are the exterior forces, and sigma of the moment about an axis or center of rotation I will say O for example equals zero. These are the two conditions of equilibrium and they are sufficient to calculate to solve the problems. So when, I, when you have a system in equilibrium the resultant which is sigma of the forces, the resultant of all the exterior forces acting on this system is equal to zero and all the moments acting on the system is equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero that means the system is moving and we move to the dynamic uh, situation. These two conditions are necessarily unnecessary and sufficient for solving the problems. Here I've got on the board an example on which we have a beam on which two forces are applied on this beam. Now what we want to do the question is to find the reactions at the supports for the beam. That means the reaction at A and reaction in B. So what, how can we solve this problem? It's by using these two conditions. Sigma of the forces and sigma of the moment equals Z. So before starting the problem, you solving the problem, we have to set up a system of axis, I will say, for example, X and Y, and we have to choose an orientation of the moment. I will consider that the moment turning clockwise, this moment is positive. So clockwise is positive, to the left, X to the left, to the right, sorry, is positive, and up is positive. I will start by calculating the moment for example on A but before doing that I have to to draw the, the forces acting on A and B. Here we have a hinge, a pin and here we have a roller. So when we have a pin and roller the pin will oppose this movement so it will be R A but according to, to Y and another component here R R A along X because we have a hinge, a pin. For the roller, the roller will only oppose the, the vertical movement. And I will name it uh, R, B, along Y. There is no component along X. So here, R I X and I 
Uh, you want. So what I will do, I will start by writing sigma of the moment equals zero. Sigma of the moment equals zero. But where I have to choose my moment, the best, the best point to choose the, the moment here is A. Why? Because when I pick A, I will eliminate the moment of R A and R A Y and R A X because they will have no distance from the point A. So I will write sigma of the moment at A equals zero. So what we have as a forces, we have now this one, this one and this one. Of course this this 30 newtons has kilonewtons has two components one along x and one along y along y and along x so now i start my calculation sigma of the moment along uh, around a is we start by this the first force here so the moment of a R A Y is zero, the moment of R A X is zero because the moment as we have seen before is force times distance. The distance to to of uh, from the distance from the point of application to A is zero because they are applied in A. Now sigma of the forces I will start with this by this one turning clockwise. I have sigma now the moment about A of the total moment 50 newtons times this distance 50 times 10 I, I record that moment is force times distance after that I have this force and this force the vertical component of this force along y is I have here 45 degree degrees is uh, 30 sine 45 30 sine 45 and the distance from this point to this point is 20 so plus 20 20 times 30 times the co vertical component which is 30 kilonewtons sine 45 and this force is acting down that means is turning clockwise now I move now to B and to B, I have this distance from A is 30 meters. 30 times what? Times R. The reaction at B along Y. In fact, I've got only uh, one component because we have a roller. I can just say R B and get rid of this y, just R B, because we don't have a horizontal component. Now this R B is pushing up, that means it is anti-clockwise, I have to put minus. This is the first condition, this first condition will give me this equals to Z. Therefore, I've got RB equals 50 times 10, which is 500, plus 20 times 30, 600, sine 45, divided by 30. I did the calculations, and you've got... RB 
equals 30 point eight kilo newtons. So now I can come here and put and write RB equals 30.8 kilo newtons. This is by using the first condition sigma of the moment equals A. Now, I will rub out this. What I'm going to do now is to use the second condition, is, which is sigma of the forces, the result of the exterior forces equals zero. I'll start by writing sigma this because this is in fact is a vectorial relation I'll have to project this relation along x and y I'll do it along x or for instance, along y so along y what are the forces along y I have r a y r a y minus 50 because it's going down minus 50 kilonewtons. This one 30 has a component which is 30 sine 40. Ry, <coughs> sorry, Ry equals 50 plus 30 sine 45 minus. 30.8 this will give me the reaction the vertical reaction in A and this is 40.40 40 kilo newtons now I've got this reaction now I determine this one 40.40 40, 40 kilo newtons the same thing now I need because I need now to, to find the horizontal components of R in A I have to do along a project this relation along X so along X what I have I have R I X R A X going to the right direction and this 30 newtons is going to the left so I have to put minus 30 and this time cosine 45 of course this should be equal to 0 and got now L A along X equals 30 cos 45 and I get this answer which is 21 21 21 21 kilo newtons that, that I put here 21 21 kilo newtons now it, I'm nearly there I have just to give now the direction of the the resultant at A because the, this resultant in uh, in A at A has two components finally this the reaction is something like this at the point so this reaction has this direction that I, I should determine. I've got the components along Y and the components along X. So now it becomes easy. I have just to use Pythagoras theorem and R squared equals R A Y squared plus R A X squared R 
in A, of course, squared equals 40, 40 squared plus 21, 21 squared. This will give me RA equals to 4563 45, kilo newtons and as you can see by using the, these two conditions sigma of the forces and sigma the, the moment I am able to determine completely the reactions at A and B what is needed now is just to give the, the direction of this this, re, this reaction by writing that tan theta if I choose here theta as this angle tan equals opposite upon hypotenuse is 40 times uh, dot 40 kilonewtons divided by 21 21 which gives me theta equals to 63 62.3 62 degrees 20. So, uh, we, we have seen on, the, on this example how to find uh, the reactions at the support when reactions are applied uh, at different places by using sigma of the forces equals zero and sigma of the moment means equals zero means the sigma of the exterior forces apply to to the body thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next video